guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Ipsy unbugging. And this month's theme is Hello Spring. And as usual, they have the same social media stuff on the back. So here's the bag this month. It's kind of a rose pattern. And it's kind of an orangey color with a um, mint green background. And it's actually on both sides this month, which is kind of nice. And mint green zipper. So, just a little preview. First, we have this nourishing argan oil, three smooth, or three day smooth, perfect blowout smoothing cream. Since I have short hair, I don't actually use a hair dryer. So, long. You only keep this for 18 months. I don't think my hair would be long enough in 18 months, even if I stopped cutting it at this point. To actually be able to use this, so I may see if my mom wants it. Um, but still, a really good sample size. I've gotten, I think, a hair mask from this is a Mark Mark Anthony product. Um, and it says you can get it at Rite Aid and Ulta. Although, unfortunately, Rite Aid got bought out by Walgreens. So if you see your Rite Aids turning into Walgreens, that's why. Unfortunately, I really liked Rite Aid, even though I didn't have one. Only my parents had one, so. Um, it's still a good sample size for that. Alright. So here next we have a brush from uh, Bear Gichi. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like a shadow brush. And it actually is really, I really like the bristles on it. It's really, really soft. I think this would be good for shadows. Doesn't look like it's shedding much, so that's good. Always good to have extra eyeshadow brushes, right? Next, we have something by Pixie by Petra. This is their Beauty Blush Duo in Rose Gold. Let's see if I can get the plastic off to show you guys. what it looks like. Let's swatch them. So there they are swatched. You can see the yellow one pretty good. You can't really see the blush. It's definitely a very light pink on my skin. You can kind of see there's shimmer right here. It's really hard to see. Um, it definitely would be good for just a light wash of color. Although it's going to be kind of hard to get into the pan without hitting both the highlight and the blush at the same time, which pros and cons of that, right? Um, but it is a full size, so that's nice. And it's in colors I probably will use at some point. Alright, next we have from Manacondar. This looks like an eyeshadow. And I'm assuming it is. It just says it's in fantasy. It is made in China. Um, let's see. If I can get the plastic off this one. This one has even heavier duty plastic than the uh, Pixie did. It looks like a coppery, pretty shimmery coppery color. Let's see how does this screw off? Yep, it screws off. So lid. Um, it's actually it, it feels really creamy. Okay. So there it is right there. It's it's a coppery color. Um, I think this would look good. It's like it it blends pretty well. Um, it's definitely not like a really statement, but you can see on the back of my finger. It's really a really nice coppery kind of color, and I think I would actually I would probably use this. Um, and it looks like it's full size, so it's a really good size. Um, for a pan, for an eyeshadow, that's for sure. Alright, and last, we have this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. Which, I haven't heard of, I mean, I have NYX products, but I haven't heard of this particular one. And it's in Soft Spoken LSCL04. It's also LC04. On the, the bottom. So let's see what this looks like. It's 
starting to kind of get into nudes. I used to play around with them more. Let's open. Swatch it. Okay, so it's like a doe foot applicator. And it's a little bit. I mean, it's a pretty dark mauve. I, I, it's on the verge of kind of brownie. It's mauvey brownie. Mm. Not 100% sure about this one. I will try it and see if I like it or not. It says it's matte, right? No. This was just liquid suede, so I'm not sure how, what the finish on this is going to be. And it does, it appears to be a full size. I'll be surprised if this is not a full size. Um, so, overall, this, and that's it for the bag. And the lining is kind of the same orangey, corally color as the roses. But in terms of products this month, they're actually really good, especially size-wise, because you have the pretty sure full-size NYX, pretty sure full-size Pixie, pretty sure full-size eyeshadow, a brush, which you can't really get. I mean, you can get travel brushes, but usually they're more expensive than the regular brushes. Um, and then you have the sample size of the blowout cream, which is a really good sample size. This is a full... It's 1.69 ounces, 50 milliliters, but that's a good amount for anyone with probably medium to like bob to shoulder length hair. That's a really good amount. So overall, it was like a good consistency of products, and I at least I can use all of these. Not so much the blowout cream, but the rest of them I can. So that's good. Uh, overall, I really like this bag. I think I'm still gonna keep both my Ipsy and my Birch Box for right now. Um, but, you know, we'll see in the future how they do. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like these kind of videos. Uh, also, leave me a comment if you want a more in-detail description of any of these products. And thank you for watching. Have a great night. Bye, guys.